In this video, we shall collect the four prerequisites for starting a meeting through the Hovan Start Meet software. First of all, open the Zoom website in any browser such as Chrome or Edge. You should see a page similar to this one. The home page keeps changing with time but you can expect to see the same logo and similar looking buttons for joining and hosting a meeting. Locate the sign up button to create an account for yourself. Click it. A page for verification of your age might open. Enter your data on this page and click continue. A sign up page opens. There are many ways of signing in email, Google, SSO, Facebook, etc. There are various options available to you as you can see, but use only the email based login because you will need this email later on. This is the first thing that you will need in the Hoven Start Meet software. Take note of it and save it somewhere. This is the first prerequisite that you will need. Okay. Follow the various steps and create an account for yourself. Next, login into your Zoom dashboard. Set a profile for yourself. You can set your logo or your picture. Not much on this page is important for us. I will show my settings so that you can compare your settings for troubleshooting if you ever need it. We also see various options for phone, language, time zone, time format. There is a section on meeting that contains personal meeting ID and a host key. Edit these to create or set a meeting ID for yourself. You can even accept the defaults. A host key is also shown. Accept it or set it. We do not need all this. You can see various sign in options. These are probably for signing into your Zoom account on this website. We do not need them, but now, now comes the important part. Click on the meetings tab on the left side. You will see various meeting tabs, upcoming, previous, personal room, meeting templates. We are interested in the personal room tab. Take note of this meeting ID. This is the second thing that you will need later on. Note it somewhere. Also take note of the passcode. Click on show and note it somewhere for later use. This is the passcode that will be used internally on the Hoven website. So this is the third thing that you will need. So as of now you have login email, meeting ID and passcode. Three items so far have been collected. Let us collect the fourth and the last item now. Open the page marketplace.zoom.us. This page is the app marketplace for Zoom applications. We are visiting this page because we need a security application. We need a token that can keep expiring after some time. This token will be a sort of a expiring password. This is a requirement from the Zoom website. So you will have to create a security application for yourself and follow the steps as I explain. You can see a develop drop down at the top. Click and select view app type. Select this and click it. A page consisting of many tiles will open. Find a tile called JWT and click create. This is the only thing that we need to do. We need a JWT application. A page opens that asks you to create a new app. Type a name for your app. Type a name for your company, organization or institute. A few more optional things can also be saved. Do all that and after that click on the app credentials link on the left side. Everything is already filled for you. You will see an API key. Leave it there. We will not need it. There is an API secret key and IM chat token. Leave them also. We do not need them. The most important thing is the JWT token. Click on view JWT token to see a long take token. This is the fourth thing that you will need. Copy it somewhere. Notice that this token has an expiry time. So you will always have to come back to this page and get a token for yourself. 
This is a sort of password that keeps expiring after some time. It keeps changing on each visit, but it remains valid till the expiry time. This is the thing that you will need every time it expires, and we will notify you when it expires. When you will log in to the Hoven Start Meet application, it will tell you that your token has expired. Go and get it again. So now you have four things email, meeting ID, meeting passcode, and JWT. You will need these for starting a meeting through the Hoven Start Meet software. Thank you.